also back with Gwinnett Lines in beautiful. Ooh, look at that summer blue sky. Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Saturday, June the 24th, 2023. And on today's video, uh, we are going to do a, another bad boy slash Y Bravo uh, accessory review. I'm going to be testing out the side chute blocker. I've had people ask me, um, well, nobody, I guess nobody has asked me about this specifically, but <clears throat> this grass, I haven't, it has not been cut since I did the uh, bad boy versus the Honda, and it's super, super, super thick. All right, I normally cut this at two inches, and all that rain that we got last week made this just well really thick so <clears throat> before I get started I've had people ask me about this hat I'm gonna put a link down in Amazon this is the absolute best hat for the summer for landscaping you can ever imagine this thing is phenomenal it's cheap and I call it my patty hat and um, it absolutely positively will keep you from getting sunburned on your neck, your face, your ears, everything. Uh, now, if you're gonna wear that, I wear over the ear, ear protection. I, I can't wear the, you know, foam earplugs I've tried. I can't wear ear pods and stuff like that. It just, it doesn't block enough of the sound out. These are phenomenal. Um, normal ones go over the top of your head, which it has this little strap that goes over the top and this wire thing goes around your neck it's very comfortable and it's very effective and then of course i've got the snow goggles these are polarized and they block the uv light so it's very helpful so and of course i've had people ask me what what's on your face what are you wearing this is the rz mask these are phenomenal uh, i don't want to be breathing this stuff because i bothers my lungs a little bit so anyway let's uh let's get on to this so basically, uh, the way that you install this is really simple. You just open the flap up, remove the mulch plug, and then this goes on just like that. And then the grass clippings are gonna shoot out the side. Uh, I know it's a little weird that you would discharge to the left, but as the air flows around, um, normal mowers have a discharge here so it would shoot out this way but as the air is coming back around it has to go that way so anyway I'm going to uh, run a section of this here and uh, we'll see how it works never used it before this will be the first time and I'm gonna set the camera up over here in the shade so it doesn't overheat all right
right, so obviously I wouldn't use this cutting my yard like this unless it was super, super, super overgrown. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the mulch plug in and uh, cut a few uh, a few strips this way. And we'll compare it. Obviously the mulching uh, will be neater, but uh, if you're in some heavy, tall grass, it, it works pretty good. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's do another another round with the discharge chute on. By the way, there's two. Well, there's an indention right here. All right, and that is so that it fits between the spring.
So, what is the verdict of the bad boy? And I have to say this, I, I did not say it at the beginning of the video, I need to say it every time. The bad boy, 21, 21 inch commercial is the exact same mower as the Y Bravo 21 inch commercial Gen 2. That is a Y Bravo mower, it's just got orange paint and bad boy stickers on it, same thing. In fact, the owner's manual says Y Bravo on it, doesn't say anywhere bad boy. It's kind of weird. Anyway, it just so happens to be that's Gwinnett Lawn's colors, orange and black. Come on now. Anyway, I think that the side discharge chute blocker has a time and a place. Definitely, I probably would never use it on my yard unless it rained like three weeks straight and I couldn't cut. Then I may have to use it. Um, but the mower does a very 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 good job I did find out one thing I think the mower is cutting I have it set on two inches I think that the mower actually cuts a quarter inch lower than that the reason is because um, at two inches with the mower being 25 pounds heavier it sinks into the grass a little more so I get these my yard is very bumpy so I get these little uh, places just because the mower is heavier it sinks down the grass a little more whereas the Honda uh, because it's lighter it's you know is which one is really true could that that could be two inches and the Honda could be two and a quarter I don't know but I, I, I will definitely say that this mower cuts a tad bit lower and that's fine the heavier the mower the lower it is compared to a comparable or similar uh, lighter mower but anyway the, my favorite thing about the bad boy still is the speed in fact when I was going up and down here I had it on high range when I was doing the around the corners and especially over here I had to use low range because high is just too fast um, I think high on that is a little faster than the Honda was when it was brand new the Honda when it was new was very fast but not quite this fast. But anyway, that's my favorite thing. My least favorite thing about it is the weight. I mean, it is what it is. It's not horrible. It's much easier to handle than the commercial Honda that I had, the HRC 216, just because the handle's higher and I'm taller. So if you're not as tall, if you know, you're a little shorter, maybe the Honda, I think it's the same weight as the bad boy. Maybe you would like that one better. I don't know. But that, that engine, that Kawasaki, the FJ 180 is stout. I like the fact that it's got an oil filter on it. It's got pressurized lubrication. So hopefully it will last a very long time. Anyway, I'm going to end this video. I'm watering the grass up there. Oh, was I supposed to show you all that? Mm -mm. I wasn't supposed to show you that yet. Or was I? I'll do a separate video on that. I've had people ask me about the progress of the grass and it's making excellent progress, but I did, I'm not gonna say I cheated. I used my resources that I had available here to do something to speed up the process. But I will do a separate video on that probably tomorrow. Let me readjust this sprinkler. Bermuda loves water loves high 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 temperatures lots of sun and water so anyway guys thank you very much for watching the video and i will see you on the next one